Luitos Theos Simon Pantatenin Kei Kei Seonas Toneono. Glory to you, O God, glory to you, Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, present in all places and filling all things, treasure of good things and giver of life. Come and take your abode in us, cleanse us of every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Patrimon, quinti suranis, aiesti tonomasu, el fetui vasiliasu, genitit terimasu, os en uranoke pitisis. Tonar trimon trepius yon dosimin simeron, que afesimin ta ufilime taimon, os que mis afimen, sfulet simon, que mis en enzimas espirasmon, alaris emas apotuponiru. O tisu est in Ivasilia, ke dinamis ke doxa, tu patros ke tu iuk tu pneuma tos ninke ai, ke sis aeonas ton eono. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy, and by your cross protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You who were lifted on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, bestow your, com your tender compassions upon your new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries. And for an ally, Lord, may they have you. Peace as their armor, the trophy invincible. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. O awesome and unshameable protection, O good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our petitions. Make firm the community of the Orthodox. Save those whom you have called to rule. Grant them victory from heaven, for you gave birth to God and are truly blessed. Have mercy <laughs> upon us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Let us pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Let us pray for our Archbishop Nathaniel. Let us pray for our Archbishop Nathaniel. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and divided Trinity, always, now, and ever, into the ages of age. Of. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. <clears throat> I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger. 
for your arrows are fixed in me and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head. They are a heavy burden. Like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. <clears throat> I suffer misery and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly, and they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me, for when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live and are become stronger than I, and those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repaid me evil for good slandered me because I pursue righteousness, and they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. <clears throat> Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in this holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand takes hold of me, but they seek for my soul in vain. <clears throat> they shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God, all who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand takes hold of me. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, <clears throat> Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I cried day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave, whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me like an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O oh Lord, I cried to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O oh Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. 
Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me neighbor and friend, my acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cried day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards, who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desires, your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercy and judgment to all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, <clears throat> so the Lord has compassion on, on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us, he remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, who do his word so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers, who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer and give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall be righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. <clears throat> Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercies in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 doxesio theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the Holy Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Nathaniel, the Honorable Presenters, the Deacons of Service of Christ, 
All the clergy and the lady, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the present, all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For this parish and city and for every city and town, for the faith to live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Ipera frasia saeuna foriest on carpontis yes. Que quero ir ir com de querido de Thomas. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Tis panaia sacrana, Du per evloi meni sens oxu de spiritu monteo to que ai parte no marias meta pado to na yemi monef sande seftus que ali luz que passa antin zoi ni mon Cristo te deu para tu meta you be long all glory honor and worship the father and the son the holy spirit now and forever and to the ages of age. Amen. Deus Kyrios kepe fanani min evlohi menos o erho menos en onomati Kyriu. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. Deus Kyrios kepe fanani min, evlogi menos o erho menos en onomati Kyriu. This came about from the Lord and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. With the rivers of your tears, you made the barren desert bloom. And with your sighs from deep within, you made your labors bear their fruits a hundredfold. <coughs> And you became a star, illuminating the world by your miracles. O Ephraim, our devout Father, intercede with Christ our God for the salvation of our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the rivers of your tears, you made the bare run desert bloom. And with your sighs from deep within, you made your labors bear the fruits a hundredfold. And you became a star, illumining the world by your miracles. O Ephraim, our devout Father, intercede with Christ our God for the salvation of our souls. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. <coughs> O immaculate Theotokos, 
as the intelligible gate, <coughs> gate of light, rescue from peril <coughs> those who run to you with faith, so that we may glorify your holy child birth for the salvation of our soul. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Tis panaia sacrandu i per vloi meni sen doxu, despinissimo in teoto cu quea i parthenu Marias, metapando ton aim monem sandes eftus quea nilus, que pas antizo inimon, Christot teo parazo metha. Yours is dominion and yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of age. Amen. Let us sing hymns extolling our God's divine. <coughs> And all honor disciples who for the world are luminaries guiding us and our salvation's first fruits. They have shined out the light unto us who were in the dark, and they gave all the knowledge of Christ the glorious Son. Also they brought down the deception of the idols by preaching the Trinity, which is in one divinity. Let us therefore cry out to them, as Christ our God's apostles entreat, that he grant forgiveness of offenses to those who with longing Observe your holy memory. Their proclamation went forth into all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. To the ends of the world, unto all the earth, did the sound of your wise proclamation go. Indeed, it has publicly proclaimed the knowledge of God to all. It turned the Gentiles ignorant into full knowledge of the truth. O all holy and allotted apostles of Christ the Lord, also it dispelled all the darkness of the idols and shined on those who sat in the darkness and the light of truth. And therefore we now pray to you, intercede with Christ our God, that he grant forgiveness of offenses to those who longingly observe your holy memory. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Virgin, behold how my humble soul in the storm of temptations of life is tossed with no one to pilot it, overtaken by turbulence. <coughs> you see it overweight with the baggage of all my sins and even now in danger of crashing to the depths of hell, hasten Theotokos with your strong intercession, and save me by steering me to your port of tranquility, that with faith I may cry to you. Pray to Christ your Son and our God, that he, that he grant me forgiveness of offenses 
For I, your servant, have you as my only hope. Holy eyewitness of Christ, you have appeared as bright luminaries, guiding all the earth to the true light and dispelling the darkness of pagan religion with radiance from your teachings of the truth of God. Now who am I without scruples living my life? In the darkness of pleasures, pray that by the light of your divine entreaties you enlighten me. O God, bearing apostles of Christ. The heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament shows the creation of his hands. When the apostles faithfully receive the master's commandments in their souls as if a treasure that makes rich they became for all men benefactors by making demonic poverty disappear and making all people rich with the wealth of God. Let us all now cry out to them. We who are poor now entreat that you enrich us spiritually by your labors <coughs> most excellent. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages <coughs> of ages. Amen. From every threat and wickedness of bad people, deliver us, we pray. You are holy virgin, for we have as you our shelter and our not protect us. And in your taking courage, we ever approach and bow before the Son you bore. Will you implore him to deliver us from danger and adversary? <coughs> With the net of your sacred and godly words, O apostles, you caught the rational fish. You offered them to our God <coughs> as the first fruits, O blessed one. <coughs> you, <coughs> you long to emulate Christ, and thus you were shown to be imitators of his passion and put on the marks thereof. Therefore, bound by duty, we assemble to honor the feast of your memory, O apostles extolled by all. <coughs> and together we cry to you, intercede with Christ our God, that he grant forgiveness of offenses to those who with longing observe your holy memory. God is wonderful in his saints. By your strong faith as martyrs, you have become ever ready and torches for all the world. For you placed your every hope in the Lord who enabled you. You kept your soul like lamps lit with the spiritual oil of the Holy Spirit. O martyrs extolled by all, therefore you are also known as spiritual wine bowls. 
that the servant is up as that that serve up as beverages, cures and healings to all mankind. O victorious martyr saints, intercede with Christ our God, that he may grant forgiveness of offenses to those who with longing observe your holy memory. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Immaculate Theotokos, as the intelligible gate of life, rescue from peril those who run to you with faith, so that we may glorify your all-holy childbirth for the salvation of our soul. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssops and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not please with whole burnt offerings. The sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasures to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls upon your altar. Ever in looking towards the hour of the trial, you lamented bitterly, venerable Ephraim, as a lover of stillness, but you became by your actions a teacher indeed, and therefore, Universal Father, you roused the idol to repentance. You roused the idol to repentance. Wishing to follow in the footsteps of the forerunner, O Father, you took yourself alone from the world and dwelt in the desert. The enemy seeing you, the just one living, so raised up an utterly shameless woman against you, thinking to overthrow your manliness by the ancient weapon and to befoul your purity, that you might no longer by words and deeds rouse the idol to repentance. Rouse the idol to repentance. On January 28th, we commemorate our devout father, Ephraim the Syrian. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Balalios. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Iakovos the ascetic. On this day, two martyrs, a mother and daughter, died by the sword. On this day, the holy martyr Grace died when her feet were cut off. By the intercessions of your saints, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Hey,
Que mi terra tu fotos en himnis timon des megali nomen. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Tinti mi o terra tun hieruvim, que en doxo terran asi critos tun serafim. Dina dia foros de o logon te cusan, dinon tos te o tocon se me alino men. For he is regarded the lowly state of his maid servant, for behold henceforth all generation shall call me blessed, greater in honor than the cherubim. And in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim, you without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name and his mercies on those who fear him <clears throat> from generation to generation. Tinti mi o terra ton hieruvim, que en vox o terran, asi critos ton serafim. Dina dia foros, te on logon te cusan, dinon dos te o tocon, se megalino me. He has shown strength with his arms. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater be on compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has helped the servant Israel. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. Tinti mi o terra ton hieruvim, que en vox o terra asi critos ton serafim. Dina dia foros de on logon te cusan, dinon dos te o tocon se megalino men. He has helped his servants in Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers to Abraham and his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim and in glory greater be on compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. For man to see God, it is impossible. For even the angelic armies dare not to gaze on him. But through you, O oh, pure maid, the Logos appeared incarnate unto mortals. Him do we magnify, and together with the hosts of heaven, we pronounce you blessed. It is truly right to bless you, O Theotokos, ever blessed, most pure and mother of God. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos. 
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Calling to remember our holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Sweet Kyrie. O ti se nu si passe dinamis ton uranon, que si tin doc sarna pembusi, to patri que to io, que to io pnevmati, nin que ai, que istu se onas ton eon ho. Apostles of the Master, by your preaching of the gospel, from the ocean of deception, you drew the whole world to the light. <clears throat> Cease not in your intercessions on our behalf with the Savior. You are to like a river flowing with streams that are golden and rousing all Christian peoples to take the path of repentance. O oh, Father, hear from and for Christ, and pray for the world's salvation. You are the hope of the hopeless. <clears throat> you are the refuge for Christians. <clears throat> o Allah, you are the joy of the oppressed. <clears throat> Deliver us, your servants from every affliction. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the Heavens, praise him in the highest. It is fitting to sing a hymn to you. Pandesiah, 
Enite akton pase dinami sabtu si prepi <coughs> imnos to theo. Praise him with sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars and light. Praise him, you heavens of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the Lord's name. For he spoke and they were made, he commanded and they were created. He established them forever and unto ages of ages. He set forth his ordinance, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you dragons and all the deeps. Fire and hail, snow and ice, stormy wind which perform his word. Mountains and all the hills, fruit trees and all the cedars. Wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth. Young men and maidens, elders with younger, let them praise the Lord's name, for his name alone is exalted. His thanksgiving is in the earth and heaven, and he shall exalt the horn of his people. A hymn for all his saints, for the children of Israel, a people who draw near to him. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly, of his holy ones. Let Israel be glad in him who made him, and let the children of Zion greatly rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dance, with tambourine and harp, let them sing to him. For the Lord is pleased with his people, and he shall exalt the gentle with salvation. The Holy One shall boast in glory, and they shall greatly rejoice on their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their mouth, and the two-edged sword in their hand. To deal retribution to the nations, reproving among the peoples. To shackle their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To fulfill among them the written judgment, this glory have all these holy ones. Praise God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to the abundance of his great mercy. When you had seen the paradise's beauty reflected in you and had delighted richly in its unspoiled meadows, you blossom for the world the knowledge of God, and as we now partake of it, our souls are growing in spirituality. In the spirit, O devout Ephraim. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and lyre. When you had seen paradise's beauty reflected in you, and had delighted richly in its unspoiled meadows, you blossom for the world the knowledge of God, and as we now partake of it, our souls are growing in spirituality, in the spirit, O devout Ephraim. 
Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and lyre. When you had seen paradise's beauty reflected in you, and had delighted in richly its unspoiled meadow, you blossomed forth for the world the knowledge of God. As now we partake of it, for our souls are growing in spirituality, in the spirit of devout Ephraim. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute. You have depicted the coming of Christ the judge of all, and thus you teach all people that they ought by the shedding of tears to light their souls. Lamps anew proclaim that the bridegroom will surely come. So let us all now put on a bright splendid robe so that we can meet the bridegroom Christ. Praise him with his sounding cymbals, praise him with trumpet cymbals, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. You put restraints on your body through self-control, O oh, saint, and you mortified the movements of the patience of our Father by many prayers and vigils. Therefore the mind of the Spirit came over you, and it exhibited you Oh, from to be a noetic star for all the world. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You flourished like the palm tree in the psalm. Venerable Father Ephraim, cutting out the tons of the blasphemers with the sword of your words by self-mastery you dried up the deeps of the passions you were revealed as an instrument of the holy spirit taking up the weapon of the cross. Without ceasing, implore Christ for us, who celebrate your all-festive memory. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. For all who are troubled, you are joy, and of the abuse, a protectress, the pauper's nourishment, stranger's consolation, and a walking staff of the blind visitation of the infirm, assistance and shelter for the weary and oppressed, help the orphans at well, hasten to deliver your servants we Fervently we beg you, O pure one, since you are the mother of the Most High God. 
Doxa si to dixanti to pos. Doxa en ipsis teo, que epigis irini en anthropis evlokia. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. Kyrie Vasilev, Epurani Ethe, Pater Pandokrator, Kyrie Iemonoyenes, Isu Christe, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. patros For you alone art holy, you alone art Lord. Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Without safe, O Lord, this day that we may be kept without sin. Eplogitos y kirie, o Theos ton pateron imon, que ne ton que de doxas menon to onoma suis tu seonas a mi. Let your mercy be on us, O Lord, as we have set our hope in you. Evlogito si kirie didaxon eta dikeo matasu. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Evlogito si kirie didaxon eta dikeo matasu. Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Kyrie prosekate figon didaxon me, tu pinto teni masu, otisi o teos mu. For with you is the fountain of light, in your light we shall see light. Parati non to eleosu tis inoskusise, Aegios o Theos, Aegios ischiros, Aegios athanatos eleison imas. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Aegios o Theos, Aegios ischiros, Aegios athanatos eleison imas. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy mortal, have mercy on us. Aegios o Theos. Agios is Kiros. Agios Athanatos. Eleisonimas. With the rivers of your tears, you made the barren desert bloom. And with your sighs from deep within, you made your labors bear their fruits a hundredfold, and you became a star, illuminating the world by your miracles. O Ephraim, our devout Father, intercede with Christ our God, 
for the salvation of our soul. Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, the source of life and immortality, who are the maker of all creation, both visible and invisible, the co-eternal and co-beginningless Son of the Eternal Father, who in the abundance of your goodness were in the last days clothed in flesh, were crucified and buried for us, the ungrateful and thankless ones, and by your own blood refashioned our nature, which had been corrupted by sin. O immortal King, accept the repentance even of me, the sinner, and incline your ear to me and hear my words. For I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am not worthy to gaze on the height of your glory. For I have provoked your goodness by transgressing your commandments and not obeying your ordinances. But in your forbearance, patience, and great mercy, you, O Lord, have not given me up to be destroyed with my sins but you await my complete conversion. For you who love mankind have said through your prophet that you desire not the death of the sinner, but that he, sh he should return to you and live. For you do not will, O Lord, that the work of your hands should be destroyed. Neither, you, neither do you delight in the destruction of men, but you desire that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Therefore, though I am unworthy both of heaven and on earth, and even of this transient life, since I have completely succumbed to sin and am a slave to pleasure and have defaced your image, yet being your work and creation, wretch that I am, even I do not despair of my salvation and dare to draw near to your boundless compassion. Therefore, receive even me, O Christ, who loves mankind, as the harlot, as the thief, as the publican, and as the prodigal, and take from me the heavy burden of my sins, you who take away the sin of the world, who heal men's sicknesses, who call the weary and heavy laden to yourself, and give them rest. For you came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And cleanse me from all defilement of flesh and spirit. Teach me to attain perfect holiness in the fear of you, that with the clear witness of my conscience I may receive a portion of your holy things, and be united with your holy body and blood, and have you dwelling and remaining in me with the Father and your Spirit. And, O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, do not let the communion of your immaculate and life-giving mysteries be to me for condemnation, nor let it make me sick in body or soul through my partaking of them unworthily. But rather grant that until my last breath I may receive a portion of your holy things without condemnation, for communion with the Holy Spirit, as a provision for eternal life, and as an acceptable defense at your dread tribunal, so that I, too, with all your elect, may become a partaker of your pure joys, which you have prepared for those who love you, O Lord, in whom you are glorified throughout the ages. Amen. I know, O Lord, that I partake of your immaculate body and precious blood unworthily, and that I am guilty and eat and drink condemnation to myself by not discerning the body and blood of you, my Christ and God. But trusting in your compassion, I take courage and approach you. For you have said, he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. Therefore have compassion, O Lord, and do not make an example of me the sinner, but deal with me according to your mercy. And let these holy things be for my healing and purification and enlightenment and protection and salvation and sanctification of body and soul. For the turning away of every fantasy and of all evil practice and diabolical activity working subconsciously in my members, for confidence and love towards you, for reformation of life and stability, for an increase of virtue and perfection, for fulfillment of the commandments, for communion with the Holy Spirit as a provision for eternal life, and as an acceptable defense at your dread tribunal, not into judgment nor under condemnation. Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy or sufficient that you should come under the roof of the house of my soul, for all is desolate and fallen, and you do not have within me a place fit to lay your head. But even as from on high you humbled yourself for our sake, so now conform yourself to my humility. 
and as you consented to lie in a cave and in a manger of irrational beasts, so also consent to lie in the manger of my irrational soul and to enter my defiled body. And as you did not disdain to enter and dine with sinners in the house of Simon the leper, so consent also to enter the house of my humble soul, which is leprous and sinful. And as you did not reject the woman who was a harlot and a sinner like me, when she approached and touched you, so also be compassionate with me, the sinner, as I approach and touch you. And let the live coal of your most holy body and precious blood be for the sanctification and enlightenment and strengthening of my humble soul and body, for a relief from the burden of my many sins, for a protection from all diabolical practices, for a restraint and a check on my evil and wicked way of life, for the mortification of passions, for the keeping of your commandments, for an increase of your divine grace, and for the advancement of your kingdom. For it is not as one insolent and presumptuous that I draw near to you, O Christ my God, but as one taking courage from your ineffable goodness, so that having long abstained from your communion, I may not become a prey to the noetic wolf. There I pray, therefore I pray to you, O Lord, who alone are holy, Sanctify my soul and body, my mind and heart, my emotions and affections, and wholly renew me. Root in my members the fear of you, and make your sanctification indelible within me. Be also my helper and defender, guide my life in peace, and make me worthy to stand on your right hand with your saints. Through the prayers and intercessions of your all-pure mother, of your ministering angels, of the immaculate powers, and of all the saints who have been well-pleasing to you. Amen. I am not worthy, Sovereign Lord, for you to come under the roof of my soul, yet because of your love for all people you wish to dwell in me. I boldly come, command that the gates open with you alone made, and which you alone made, and you will come in with love toward all people, as is your nature. You will come in and enlighten my darkened reasoning. I believe that you, you will do this, for you did not send away the harlot who came to you with tears nor cast out the repenting publican, nor reject the thief who acknowledged your kingdom, nor forsake the repentant persecutor for what he was. But you counted as your friends all those who came to you in repentance. You alone are blessed, always now and to the endless ages. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, my God, loose, remit, forgive, absolve, and pardon the sins, offenses, and transgressions which I, your sinful, useless, and unworthy servant have committed from my youth up to the present day and hour, whether in knowledge or in ignorance, whether by words or in deeds, whether by habit or through any of my senses, and through the intercession of her who conceived you without seed, the all-pure and ever-virgin Mary, your mother, my only sure hope and protection and salvation, Make me worthy to receive without condemnation your pure, immortal, life-giving, and fearful mysteries unto forgiveness of sins and for eternal life, for sanctification and enlightenment and strength and healing and health of soul and body, and for the blotting out and complete destruction of my evil reasonings and intentions and prejudices and the nocturnal fantasies of dark evil spirits. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory and the honor and the worship with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who alone have authority to forgive men their sins, in your goodness and love for men, overlook all my offenses, whether committed with knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to receive without condemnation your divine, glorious, spotless, and life-giving mysteries not for punishment nor for an increase of sins, but for purification and sanctification, and as a pledge of the life and kingdom to come, as a protection and help for the destruction of enemies and for the blotting out of my many transgressions. For you are a God of mercy and compassion and love for men, and to you we send up glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. From lips tainted and defiled, from a heart unclean and loathsome, from an unclean tongue and out of a polluted soul, receive my prayer, O my Christ. Do not reject me, nor my words, nor my ways, nor even my shamelessness, but give me courage to say what I desire, O Christ my God. 
and even more teach me what to do and what to say. I have sinned more than the harlot who on learning where you were lodging brought myrrh and dared come and anoint your feet, my Christ, my Lord and my God. And as you did not repulse her when she drew near in her heart, neither, O oh word, reject me, but grant that I may clasp and kiss your feet and dare to anoint them with the flood of tears as with most precious myrrh. Wash me with my tears and purify me with them, O oh word. Forgive my sins and grant me pardon. You know the multitude of my evil doings. You also know my wounds and you see my bruises, but you also know my faith and you behold my willingness and you hear my sighs. Nothing escapes you, my God, my maker, my redeemer, not even a teardrop, not part of a drop. Your eyes know what I have not achieved and in your book things not yet done are written by you. See my depression and see how great is my trouble. Take from me all my sins, O God of all, that with a clean heart, a trembling mind, a contrite spirit, I may partake of your pure and all holy mysteries by which all, who with sincerity of heart eat and drink you, are quickened and deified. For you, my Lord, have said, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. Holy true is the word of my Lord and God. For whoever partakes of your divine and deifying gifts certainly is not alone, but is with you, my Christ, the light of the triune sun, which illumines the world. That I may, that I may not remain alone without you. That's a lot. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into... No, 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 it's not right. Is it? O heavenly King, come to the spirit of truth through our present ever fill all things. Treasure blessings, the giver of life. Come and dwell within us and cleanse us of every stain and save our souls, O good one. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Evloyimeni Vasilia tu patros, que tu yu, que tu yu pnev matos, nin que ai, que se onas ton eono. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Kyria. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God and the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For all pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Nathaniel, the Honorable Presbyterate for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the lady, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the President, the armed forces, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and for every city and land, for the faith live in them, let us pray to the Lord. 
Ürev, krasies aer, ne foriest, ton karpondis, iske keron irini kontu kiriu deit, omen. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, and necessity, and from the peril of the coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything with him, we bless his holy name. Despres vi estis teo tocus o terus o sonimas. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his rewards through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Despres vi estis Theo Toku, Soter Sosonimas. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Holy, of the Thea, talk us, Savior, save. Us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Meta pandon to naimi monef sande sef tuske lilus, ke pas antizo inimon, Christot theo paratho metha. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of age. Oh. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord, O my soul. I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. So, so, ni mas yefeu, o enayis taf mastos, psalon dasi alleluia. Blessed is he whose help is in the God of Jacob. His hope is in the Lord his God. Save us, O Son of God, who are wondrous in your saints. We sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. So, so, ni mas O enayis taf mastos, psalondasi, alleluia. 
Vox Patrice, O que agio perma ti. Quem in que aí que isto se onas tone onona mi. Only begotten Son and Word of God, immortal One, who for our salvation did so humble yourself by taking on flesh, taking flesh by, by the Theotokos and ever virgin Mary, without charge did you become man and were crucified Christ our God by conquering death by your death as one of the Holy Trinity and being glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit save us. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. Andila buso son eleis, anke dia filax animas theos tis ichariti. Kyrie eleison. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Si Kyrie. For you, O God, are good and love mankind, and do we offer glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With the rivers of your tears, you made the barren desert bloom. And with your sighs from deep within, you made your labors bear their fruits a hundredfold. And you became a star, illuminating the world by your miracles. O oh, Ephraim, our devout Father, intercede with Christ our God for the salvation of our souls. Sophia Ordi. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ our God. Save us, O Son of God, among the saints glorified. We sing to you, Alleluia. With the rivers of your tears, you made the barren desert bloom. And with your sighs from deep within, you made your labors bear the fruits a hundredfold. And you became a star, illuminating the world by your miracles. O Ephraim, our devout Father, intercede with Christ our God for the salvation of our souls. Antienisit in Parthenia nephilaxas, Antikimisit on cosmon, Ucatelipes deotoke, Metestis prostin zoin, Mitiri parhus atizois, Ketes presvies deses litrumeni, 
εκ θανάτου τας ψυχάς ημών. In giving birth you retained your virginity, and in dormition you did not forsake the world, O Theotokos. You were translated unto life, being the mother of life, and thus by virtue of your intercessions, You delivered our souls from death. You have taken to yourself, O Lord, the pinnacles of your disciples, those unerring theologians and preachers, to enjoy your blessings and repose. For you accepted their labors, and their death has been higher than any whole burnt offering, for only you know what is in the heart. For you are God, our holy, and to you we offer glory to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of age. Their proclamation went forth into all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. 
Wisdom. The heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament shows the creation of his hand. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Galatians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus, Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Let us have no self-conceit, no provoking of one another, no envy of one another. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spiritual gentleness. Look to yourself, lest you to be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Peace be unto you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus came down with him and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the seacoast of Tyre and Sidon who came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all the crowd sought to touch him, for power came forth from him and healed them all. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you that hunger now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you that weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you and revile you and cast out your name as evil on the account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. Ipomen pandas ex solis tisfichis, Kex olis is the ania simon ipomen. Girlison, girlison, girlison. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Girlison, girlison, girlison. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you hear us and have mercy. Girlison, girlison, girlison. Et de mutai per tu archibiscopo imon natanail. Kilaison, kilaison, kilaison. Again we pray for our brethren, the priests, the higher monks, the higher deacons, the monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Kilaison, kilaison, kilaison. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God. All pious Orthodox Christians residing and visiting this city, parishioners, members of the parish council, stewards and benefactors of this holy church. Again we pray for the blessed and every member of the founders of this holy church, for all our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us, who here have been laid piously to rest, as well as the Orthodox everywhere. Kyrlaison, kyrlaison, kyrlaison. 
Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy all venerable mm -hmm. church, for those who labor and those who sing, and all the people here present await your great and rich mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind. To you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of age. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Dear my son, help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Dear my son, wisdom. That ever God, by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of age. Amen. He
Trinity. Trinity. The Lord our God, remember all of you in his kingdom, always, now and forever and on in the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Kyrios o Theos, en ti vasili aftu, pandoten in ke ai, keis puseonas ton eo. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gifts here set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, I pray to you to do the peace of the love of the Lord, and the love of the Lord, and the love Kiriu dei thome, Kiriu dei thome. For 
deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. Parastu Kyrie, Angeloni dinis pistono digon, Phila katom sikon keton somaton imon, Parat Kyrie eti sometha. Parastu Kyrie, For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, <laughs> Let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Parastu Kyrie. Christiana ta teliti zoi Simon, anodina na peskin da irinika, ke kalina polo yentin epitu, fovruvimatos tu Christu eti sometha. Parastu Kyrie. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. So that our sex may be pleasing to you, the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us upon the gifts presented upon all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you art blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of age. Amen. <laughs> Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Father, <laughs> Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity once in it sat and in Tas tiras, tas tiras, en Sofia proskomen. I believe. I believe. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the ages to come. Amen. Πιστεύω εις έναν Θεόν, Πατέρα Παντοκράτορα, ποιητήν ουρανού και γης, ορατώνται πάντων και αοράτου, και εις έναν Κύριον Ιησούν Χριστόν, τον Υιόν του Θεού τον Μονογενή, τον εκ του Πατρός γεννηθέντα προπάντων των αιώνων. Φως εκ φωτός, 
Θεών αληθινών, εκ Θεού αληθινού, γεννηθέντα, ου ποιηθέντα, ομοούσιον του Πατρί, διού τα πάντα εγένετο. Τον διημάς τους ανθρώπους και δια την ημετέραν σωτηρίαν, κατελθόντα εκ των ουρανών και σαρκωθέντα εκ πνεύματος Αγίου και Μαρίας της Παρθένου και ενανθρωπίσαντα. Σταυροθέντα τε υπερημών επί ποντίου πιλάτου και παθώντα και τα φέντα και αναστάντα την τρίτη ημέρα κατά τας γραφάς και ανελθόντα εις τους ουρανούς και καθεζόμενον εκ δεξιών του πατρός και πάλιν ερχόμενον με τα δόξης κρίνε ζώντας και νεκρούς ούτης βασιλείας ούκα έστε τέλος και εις το πνεύμα το Άγιον, το Κύριον, το Ζωοποιόν το εκ του πατρός εκπορευόμενον το συν πατρί και ιό συμπροσκυνούμενον και συνδοξαζόμενον το λαλήσαν δια των προφητών εις μίαν Αγίαν, Καθολικήν και Αποστολικήν Εκκλησίαν, ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα εις άφεσιν αμαρτιών, προσδοκώ ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωήν του μέλλοντος αιώνος. Αμήν. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. Ελεονιρήνης, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. <coughs> Let us lift up our hearts. Ephoristis <coughs> omen to Kyrio. Axion ke dikeon. Singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Aegios, Aegios, Aegios Kyrios Avaor, Pliris, O Uranos, Ke igitis doxisu, O sana entisipsistis, Ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονοματι Κυρίου ο Σανά ο εν της υψίστης Delivered himself up for the life of the world He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and giving thanks and blessing, and hallowed it and broke it, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take ye, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. <coughs> Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remember, therefore, this, command, this saving commandment, all that had been done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension to heaven, the enthronement of the right hand, and the second and glorious coming again. Tasa ecton son, si prospero men, kata panda, kedia panda. Once again, we offer this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. We beseech and pray and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us, upon the gifts you presented. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me, O Theos, y lastimi tuantolo, que le son me. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. And make this bread, the precious body of your Christ, 
Amen. Amen. And that was in his cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We praise, we praise you, and we bless, we bless you. Σαρέτος της Παναγίας ακράν υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσμινής ημών και ο τόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας. Αξιον εστίνος αλήθος μακαρίζειν σε την Θεοτόκον την αη μακαρίστον και παναμομήτων και μητέρα του Θεού ημών την τιμιωτέραν τον χερούβιμ και ενδοξωτέραν. Ας η Κρήτος τον Σεραφείμ την αδιαφθόρος θεών λόγων τεκούσαν την όντως θεοτόκον σε μεγάλη νόμε. Among the first, remember Lord our Archbishop Nathaniel, Grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honorable, and health unto length of days, brightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember, Lord, those whom each of us has in mind and, uh, and all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we glorify and praise your most honorable, majestic name the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of age. Of. Amen. And the mercies <coughs> of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. Amen. <laughs> Etiketi and it in it, Kiryu the Ithomen. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Better God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance. May we turn, send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. <laughs> Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. <laughs> we entrust you, loving Master, our whole life and Pope, Beseech, pray, and implore you, grant us to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries. 
from this sacred and spiritual tale with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, and the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and boldness for you not into judgment or condemnation. Πάτερ ημών, ο εν δι σου ρανή, αγιαστή το το όνομά σου, ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθήτω το θέλημά σου, ω εν ουρανό και επί τη γη. Τον άρτων ημών των επιούσιων, δώσει μην σήμερον, και άφεση μην τα οφειλήματα ημών, ω και ημί αφίεμεν τι οφειλέτε ημών, και μη ει ενέγγυση μα ει πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε ημά από του πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Abana ladhi fi samawat, li taqaddas ismuk, li yakti malakutuk, li takun mashiatuk, kama fi samai kathalik ala al-ard, خبزنا الجوهر أعطنا اليوم واترك لنا ما علينا كما نترك نحن لمن لنا عليه ولا تدخلنا في تجربة لكن نجنا من الشرير For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages Amen Kirini Fasi let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Speak of thanks unto you, invisible King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe and the multitude of your mercy brought everything from nothing into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads before you. They have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, Make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead, according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hearken, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place, the throne of the glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, you who are enthroned with the Father on high, and are present among us invisibly here. And with your mighty hand, grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and to us to all the people. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me, O Theos. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. Proscomen. The holy gifts for the holy people of God. God is a portion Jesus Christos is toxan teu patros One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, for the glory of God the Father. Amen. I believe and confess, O Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, 
voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion. O Maker, bear me not as I partake, for you are fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as this Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both defies and nourishes me. It defies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that, leaping for joy, I may magnify, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? For if I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me as you are the one who loves mankind. O Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. For it is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as this Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Dipnus utu mysticus simeron iethe iucinon paralave, umigartis exist mystior ipo fili masi doso cathapel iudas, Allos olisissimo logos misikiro den ethis de Vasilias, my brother and co-celebrator. Oh, 
αυτόν και εις τα πέρατα της οικουμένης τα ρήματα αυτών. Αλληλούια. Δεκατομέσαν Τα φόβου θεού πίστεως και αγάπης προσέλθετε With the fear of God, with faith and with love drawn here Ισπάσαν την γίνε ξύλθεν ο φόγος αυτόν και εις τα πέρατα της οικουμένης τα ρήματα αυτών. Αλληλούια. Δεπρακλαμέσαν Peace. 
pasam tingin eksilte of togosaton ke ista perata ti si kumenis tari mata afton alleluia god save your people and bless your inheritance Ιδωμέν το φως το αληθινόν, ελάβομεν νεύμα επουράνιον, εύρωμεν πιστην αληθή, αδιέρετον τριάδα προσκυνούντες, αυτή γάρ ημάς έσωσεν. We have seen the light, the heart who lied, and have received the heavenly spirit we now have found the true faith by our worshiping the undivided trinity who has said Ido mento fosto alithinon, elabo ment nevma e puranion, evro ment pistin alithi, adiereton triada proskinundes, aftigar imas esosen. Be exalted, O God, with glory, glory be over all the earth. Be exalted, O God of the heavens, let your glory be over all the earth. Ipsothiti epitus nusce passa iyi idoxa. Luitos o Theo Simon. Panduten in keai, ke seonas to deodo. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord that we may sing of your glory, because you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your sanctification, that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Oh. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life-creating, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Doxa si, Kyrie, doxa si. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Kyrie eleison. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Si Kyrie. We give thanks to you, O Master, who loved mankind, benefactor of our souls, that even on this day you made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, fortify us in your fear, guard our life, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, do we give glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who place their trust in you, save your people. Bless your inheritance, protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and forsake us not who set our hope in you. 
Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, the armed forces, and all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. Do you give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Ito no ma kiriu evlo yimenon apo tunin ke os tu eonos. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth, forever and forever. Ito no ma kiriu evlo yimenon apo tunin. Kiriu Daithomen. Kiria Daiso. May the blessings of the Lord and his mercy come upon you by his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Doxasi, O Theos, Ibon, Doxasi. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of all pure and all immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious life giving cross, the protection of all bodily powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet or John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praise the apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, the righteous and God-bearing fathers, the father among the saints, John Christo, Marchbridge of Constantinople, the holy and righteous of God, Joachim and Anna, the righteous and God-bearing fathers, Ephraim and Isaac the Syrians, who may we's memory celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Dief con tu naion patero nimon, kirie su Christeo Theos, eleison ge sosonimas. Amen. May the Holy Trinity protect all of you. Good morning. And from you pull out to those who are celebrating today, I think Father Achilles' son is named Isaac. From you pull out, God grant him many years. Caris to me. We want to thank those who are assisting today. Thank you to Father Achilles for coming today and for serving with us. And to Jim Kaywood and Minas Nicholas for uh, chanting, Dimitri Kagadis for reading and chanting. Our altar server was John Mueller, Steve Saros was on the video, and Chrysanthi Kaywood was checking in in the narthex. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our, our righteous Father, Ephraim the Syrian. Ephraim was born in Syria of poor parents during the reign of the Emperor Constantine the Great. He spent his youth rather tempestuously, but suddenly a change took place in his soul, and he began to burn with the love for the Lord Jesus. Ephraim was a disciple of St. James of Nisibis, who was commemorated on January 13th. Due to the great grace of God, wisdom flowed from his tongue like a stream of honey, and ceaseless tears flowed from his eyes. Industrious as a bee, Ephraim continually wrote books, orally taught the monks in the monastery and the town, in the people of Edessa, and dedicated himself to prayer and contemplation. Numerous are his books and beautiful are his prayers, the most famous of which is his prayer recited during the season of Great Lent, O Lord and Master of my life, a spirit of idleness, fancy, ambition, and idle talking give not unto me but rather a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love upon thy servant. Yes, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own faults, not to, to condemn my brother, for blessed are you to the age of ages. Amen. When they wanted to appoint him a, a bishop by force, he pretended to be insane and began to race through the city of Edessa, dragging his garment behind him. Seeing this, the people left him in peace. Ephraim was a contemporary and friend of St. Basil the Great. 
Saint Ephraim is especially considered to be the apostle of repentance. Even today, he, his works soften many hearts hardened by sin and return them to Christ. He reposed in extreme old age in the year 378. Another very holy person we celebrate today as well, the, the, the righteous Isaac the Syrian. <coughs> St. Isaac was born in Nineveh, and in his youth he lived an ascetic life in the monastery of St. Matthew, Mar, Mar Matthew, in the proximity of Nineveh. When Isaac became known because of the sanctity of his life and his many miracles, he was elected Bishop of Nineveh and was forced to accept that rank. After only five months, however, he left the bishopric and secretly withdrew into the wilderness the monastery of Rabban Shabir. He compiled many works, of which are about a hundred homilies on the spiritual life and asceticism, written primarily from his personal experience, have come down to us today. He was unequaled as a spiritual psychologist and director of the spiritual life. Even such saints as Saint Simeon, uh, the, new, the new stylite and wonder worker of, of the, on the wonderful mountain, sought counsel from him. Isaac reposed in extreme old age towards the end of the, of the seventh century. Both of these holy people were ascetics, strict ascetics. They gave themselves completely to God. They, and because they gave themselves to God, God gave them holiness and purity, and they were to express themselves in writings and words and preaching and hymns to the Lord. Let us follow them. Remember the words of this blessed Isaac the Syrian, especially that hymn, that prayer that we read during Great Lent, and that is uh, of uh, Saint Ephraim the Syrian. Grant me to see my own faults and not to judge my brother or sister. This is very important that we remember this, that we focus on our own spiritual life and not spend time worrying about what others are doing. May the Lord keep you and bless you all the days of your life. Amen. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord my God, for thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but has made me worthy to be partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to commune of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But the Master who loves mankind, for our sakes this die and rise again, and gave us these awesome and life-creating mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Let them be for the leading, healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed, love unfeigned, fulfilling of wisdom, observing of thy commandments, and receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace, and live not for myself alone, but for thee, our master and benefactor. And may I pass from this life in the hope of eternal life, and so attain to the everlasting rest, where the voice of those who feast is unceasing, and the gladness of those who behold the goodness of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O Master, Christ our God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion with thy most pure and life-creating mysteries. I pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection, beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me, even to my last breath, to partake worthily and with the pure conscience of thy holy things, for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good. To thee we ascribe glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou who art a fire, consuming the unworthy.
consume me not, O my Creator, but instead enter into my members, my veins, my heart, consume the thorns of my transgressions, cleanse my soul, and sanctify my reasoning. Make firm my knees and body, illumine my five senses. Nail me to the fear of thee, always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me understanding and illumination. Show me to be a temple of thy one spirit, and not the home of many sins. May every evil thing, every carnal passion, flee from me as from fire, as I become thy tabernacle through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers in thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant, a child of light. For thou art the only sanctification and light of our souls, O good one, and to thee, our Master and God, we ascribe glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life, thy precious blood my remission of sins, let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me a sinner worthy to stand on the right hand of thy glory at thine awesome second coming through the prayers of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. O most holy lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy, I thank you for you have permitted me, the unworthy, to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of your Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, you that gave birth to the true light. Enliven me who am deadened by sin, you that gave birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving Mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasonings. And enable me, even unto my last breath, to receive the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. And grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may glorify you all the days of my life. For you are blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. For you are blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. For you are blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which prepare for the face of all peoples, a light and light in the Gentiles, and the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy trinity, have mercy on us. Yeah. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Place, um, o Master, Calvary, pardon our transgressions. O holy one, visit and heal infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <clears throat> thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, <clears throat> but deliver us from evil. Pater Imon, Pater Imon, o en dis uranis, aies thito to onoma su, el theto i vasilia su, genithito to theli masu, os en urano ke epitis gis, ton arton imon, ton epiusion, Δώσει μην σήμερον και άφεση μην τα οφειλήματα ημών, ω και εμεί αφίεμεν τι οφειλέτε ημών, και μη ει ενέγγιση μα ει πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε ημά από του πονηρού. Ω τη σου στην η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα, του πατρό και του ιού και του πνεύματο νυν και αή, και ει αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. With the rivers of your tears, you made the barren desert bloom, and with your sighs from deep within, you made your labors bear their fruits a hundredfold, and you became a star, illuminating the world by your miracles, O Ephraim, our devout Father. Intercede with Christ our God for the salvation of our souls. In giving birth, you retained your virginity, and in dormition, you did not forsake the world, O Theotokos. 
you were translated unto life, being the mother of life, and thus by virtue of your intercessions, you deliver our souls from death. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like fire has enlightened the universe and has disclosed to the world treasures of a covetousness and has shown us the heights of humility. But as thou dost instruct us by thy word, O Father John Chrysostom, intercede with the world, Christ God, to save our souls. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. From heaven thou didst receive divine grace, <clears throat> and by thy lips thou dost teach all to worship the one God in Trinity. O Venerable John Chrysostom, the All-Blessed, worthily do we extol thee, for thou art an instructor that dost reveal things divine. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen, the Church is revealed to all as a brilliantly lit heaven, leading the faithful in the way of light. Standing therein, we cry aloud, make firm the foundation of this house, O Lord. Kyrielation, 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 Kyrielation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption didst bear God the Word, and a truly Theotokos we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May he cause his countenance to shine upon us and have mercy upon us. Amen. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of pure and holy Mother, the holy and righteousness of God, Joachim, of our following saints, John Christom, Archbishop of Constantinople, the holy and righteousness of God, Joachim, Anna, the righteous and God, Father, Ephraim, the Syrian, and, and the venerable Palladios of Antioch, the martyr Carita, the venerable Theodosios of Totma, and Isaac the Syrian, the venerable Bishop of Nineveh, whose memory commemorates today and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us as a good, loving, and merciful God. God bless you and have a wonderful day.